Uh, yesterday at 7.30, we had a, a meeting with the city council, uh, at, the, at the city of Eagle Pass, sorry, not with the city council, with the mayor, the county, uh, and the city, uh, so that we can have a plan of action on how to respond to situations like this. Uh, we, were, we will be working very closely with uh, local law enforcement, uh, providing our diagrams or, or school facility uh, maps so that uh, they understand where everything is at every single campus. Uh, we have closed campuses at every single building. Uh, all our elementaries, all exit doors are locked. Uh, we just updated all our locks and continue to updating all our locks. And uh, we have a camera and uh, people you, you have to buzz in to go into every campus. So that's, been uh, in place for years. that's been in place for years. Yeah, that's correct. Um, the next four days, uh, we will have a high presence of law, informa law enforcement in all the campuses. Uh, we will have DPS, we will have the county, we have the sheriff and deputies, constables at every single campus. Uh, city police is also assisting us, and Border Patrol. Uh, we will have a police officer all day today and tomorrow at every single campus. Uh, law enforcement will be there. They will even eat at our cafeterias today and tomorrow. Um, also, uh, we will be working and training together with the local entities. Uh, I think we need to learn from what happened yesterday. Uh, also, we're asking our, uh, our uh, legislators, our senators, our Congress to please provide more gun control. Uh, this person was 18 years old and was legally able to obtain an assault rifle. So uh, we're asking that our students, are, I know that there's lobbyists, uh, that usually pour a lot of money into campaigns. Our kids are not for sale. One child dying is not worth any contribution or any, we're not violating any rights. You know, guns for hunting are not related to assault weapons. Uh, I wanna thank everybody that was uh, uh, able to assist and I'm open to any questions. Yes, sir. Uh, one of the questions that uh, many parents in, in our community and, and, and other communities have is, uh, for example, uh, you that do have a police force, one of their concerns is that sometimes, at least that's what they say and claim, mm -hmm. is that uh, the Eagle Pass Police Department, they will put the school district police department, doesn't uh, have an officer in, or in every campus. Mm -hmm. I know, I understand that you have more than 14 campuses, correct? We have a total of 24 campuses. 24 campuses. Yes. So will, will you be looking at that for the next year as in to be able to provide a, a, a full force for every campus at least to have the, 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 the students secure at least while they're in school? Because yeah. that is one of the, the, the concerns, especially here in the United States, that we do not have that ability of keeping our kids safe. Mm. Yes. Look, right now we have a total of 30 officers. Yes. Okay. I think uh, South Texas, we're one of the biggest police force. Mm -hmm. And those uh, 30 officers are uh, working for us every single day. Okay. I do know that the city of Eagle Pass uh, has around 80 officers, but maybe 8 to 10 work at, at, at a particular yeah. shift. Sure. And we have 30 officers working at the same time during school hours, 100% uh, of the time. Uh, we're looking to, this was a concern that was brought up to me by the school board. So I've been increasing the officers. We will get an additional, some additional officers uh, starting this summer. Yes, I was able to make some movements in our staff so that we can create that. Uh, so we will be advertising for more police officers. Now, the issue here that we have a lot of campuses and our, we try and put our officers in our, the campuses that are at, at higher risk. Uh, we have 
probably, I would say, 55% to 60% of our students are in secondary. Okay. And that's where we have most of our officers. Uh, we have eight, off, eight police officers in each, second, in each high school, and we have the rest, uh, we have some officers at each junior high. We have four to five officers in each junior high. And then we patrol all the elementaries, yeah. okay? Uh, the elementaries are a lot more secure because there's the only, we only have one entrance in every elementary, and that's it through the front. At the high school, that was by design. Uh, was by design. Uh, but the high school, since they're so big, we need a lot of access when students exchange classes. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have the officers there to protect the exits. So, and we have a checkpoint at each end. So we have two checkpoints. Yes. So that's, uh, you know, if you're looking at our checkpoints, we already have around six officers designated for those checkpoints. So we have 24 for the rest of the, uh, of the campuses because we that checkpoint is guarded every single, every time the school's open, yes. the checkpoint is there, you know. So uh, that's what we're working with. Uh, we have worked with our local law enforcement before. Uh, they do work in conjunction. I want to thank the city of Eagle Pass because they were monitoring the campuses yesterday. Okay, uh, we had several calls from the principals that, hey, the police is here, what's going on? No, they were just doing preventive measures, you know, since yesterday. So we will continue that for the next four days. We will have a strong presence in both graduations. Okay, both graduations, we will have all law enforcement from every single entity helping us in graduations and uh, being actively uh, participating and monitoring our graduations for Friday and Saturday. Okay. En español, creo que sí. Okay. Primeramente quisiera darle las gracias a todos los medios por estar aquí. Este, quiero ofrecerles las condolencias y, a, y este, oraciones a la familia de lo que pasó en Ubalde. Fue un evento muy trágico, este, algo que nadie de nosotros esperábamos. Este, especialmente quiero este, esta tragedia nos tocó a la comunidad localmente, a la familia de Eva Mireles, que fue una graduante de aquí de Eagle Pass High School en el año 1996. Uh, hemos ofrecido nuestros servicios para uh, Ubalde, uh, este, uh, con el señor este, Hal Harrow, el superintendente de Ubalde, le hemos ofrecido nuestros consejeros o servicios que le podemos ayudar. Este, le quiero dar las gracias a todos los oficiales aquí locales, uh, que respondieron eficientemente y fueron a Ubalde uh, arriesgando sus vidas para ayudar a todos los niños que este incidente que pasó. Este, nuestro servicio, los Texas Rangers, uh, el Texas Rangers que está aquí, uh, viajó para allá. Todo, todos los uh, U.S. Marshals, todos ayudaron. Uh, DPS y este, nuestro, uh, este, también los policías de la ciudad fueron a ofrecer los servicios. Uh, tuvimos una junta ayer uh, a las siete y media en, uh, en la ciudad con, uh, con, las, uh, con el condado, con la ciudad, con el distrito, con los jefes de policías. Y tenemos, hemos trabajado en un plan uh, para hoy. Uh, nuestro, este, los siguientes cuatro días van a estar uh, vigilados completamente todas las escuelas. Uh, que no haya alarma, que está pasando algo, es que este, ahí vamos a tener uh, este, policías. Uh, va a haber policías de DPS, va a haber este, uh, del sherife, del, del condado, deputados, uh, los constables van a estar ahí también y la ciudad de Igle Paz también nos va a dar uh, uh, oficiales. Uh, también estamos trabajando con uh, Port Petro, uh, para tener estos servicios y este, vamos a estar en, 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 en alerta. Este, las graduaciones, uh, los dos días, el viernes y el sábado, uh, va a haber una gran presencia de, de oficiales uh, para asegurar este, el bienestar y la seguridad de, lo, de toda la comunidad. Queremos um, esforzar que hablemos con, nuestro, uh, con nuestros representantes a nivel estatal y a nivel nacional 
que necesitamos que haga más medidas para controlar las armas de asalto. Esta fue una tragedia, una, uh, no puedo decir que se podía haber prevenido completamente, pero las muertes hubieran sido mucho menos si no hubiera sido una, una pistola de asalto. Okay. Uh, pudo haber sido peor, uh, gracias a nuestros uh, oficiales que respondieron y arriesgaron su vida para proteger el resto de los uh, salones que pasó esta tragedia. Uh, preguntas en español. Las graduaciones van a seguir igual. Todo Las graduaciones van a seguir igual. Horario. Mismo horario, mismo todo. Vamos a estar en alerta. Uh, ¿Restricciones para revisar las, 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 las No va a haber restricciones. Uh, ahorita estamos planificando que, este, que vamos a tener bastantes policías. Este, ahorita no quiero poner restricciones porque este, esta situación está bajo control con nosotros ahorita. Este, pero esperamos que los padres de familia estén conscientes que estamos tomando todas las medidas posibles para que este, terminar el año escolar en, 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 una, en una seguridad que no pase esto aquí en Inglés Paz. Okay. También lo que estamos haciendo, este, estamos este, dándoles los, uh, todos los diagramas de todas las escuelas a, a todos los agentes de policías, agencias, para que sepan nuestros mapas, nuestras uh, entradas y salidas, para que si hay algo que pasa así, este, pu puedan asistir más fácil. Uh, vamos a hacer entrenamientos uh, entre todas las agencias, empezando este verano, uh, para tener todos los procedimientos para prevenir. Yo digo, la más, lo, lo más importante ahorita es que haga la presencia. La presencia es una ma manera de prevenir que alguien se anime a hacer algo así. Gracias.